Imagine a place that is filled with green, a place of discovery, with flora and fauna of all types, where thousands of species of plants, animals, insects, and birds surround you. There are crystal clear cold water springs, still wetlands, and free-flowing streams. But in the middle of this natural paradise, there are buildings which house modern high-tech classrooms and comfortable living quarters. This is a special place of learning, a place where the classroom is both indoors and out, where students can literally step out of a classroom into a living laboratory, where everything they were studying can be observed, heard, and even touched. This is the Solon Dixon Forestry Education Center, Hi, I'm Bob Howell, and today I'm in a 5,300-acre schoolhouse in South Alabama. If it's your job to teach someone about nature, its forests or wildlife, birds or flowers, frogs or waterways, there's no better place to conduct your sessions than right here. And the only thing I wish I'd you can have up to 100 students meeting in this state-of-the-art classroom in the morning, viewing PowerPoint lectures on endangered species. And then that afternoon, your group can be in the forest, seeing for themselves those things that were only theory two hours early. They'll be experiencing applied learning at the highest level. Uh, we've had groups that will uh, come in here as a group of 100 and then do breakout sessions that they may end up in a 40-seat classroom. Uh, part of the group may sit on a porch and have an outdoor classroom on a porch. Or maybe they've got a field exercise that they're going down to a longleaf bridge or, or a creek bottom. But uh, the whole property, uh, since I've been here, there's probably not anywhere in the, in the campus yards or in the forest that at some point in time doesn't serve as a classroom. Better still, your group's time at the Dixon Center is not limited to a few hours or even a full day. The center is equipped to comfortably house 100 guests. Well, we've got a full-service kitchen cafeteria. Uh, we can seat uh, comfortably 80, 85 people. Uh, we've got 24 private bedrooms that could be 48 in a group uh, going semi-private uh, with your own air-conditioned private bathroom. We opened a new classroom in uh, 2012, and that would be the Solon and Martha Dixon Foundation Learning Center. It's, uh, it's got a 100-seat amphitheater seating. Uh, it's got all the acoustics. It's got wireless internet. Uh, in that same building, we have the big porches, open hallways for meetings and gatherings, small conference room. I want to say it's 14 people. Uh, and in the back of that same building, we have an additional 40-seat classroom. Who wouldn't trade this for this? Professional organizations can bring in leadership teams for intensive retreats where individuals are away from distractions in a comfortable, peaceful bit of green space that allows them to relax and free up their creative sides to engage in planning, problem solving, and resolution. The Dixon Center is in Covington County in South Alabama, surrounded by the immense Conecuh National Forest. It is conveniently located two hours or less from Montgomery, Mobile, Dothan, and Pensacola. Uh, we border the Conecuh River. We've probably got four miles of river frontage. We've got lots of clear water streams. Uh, we actually have a uh, cold water springs that runs about 65 degrees year round. You can uh, find shark's teeth and oceanic fossils. Uh, we have a uh, diverse longleaf pine forest with other mixed pines. Uh, prescribed fire on the property has uh, created a diverse botanical inventory. The uh, wildlife species themselves, from the, the reptiles and the amphibians to the songbirds, uh, the small mammals, large mammals, uh, you know, most of what can be found in the state of Alabama is, is going to be found here. Even though the Dixon Center is part of the Auburn University School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, many other schools take advantage of this unique facility. I think in the past year we've had Arkansas Tech, I think Birmingham Southern, Auburn Montgomery, uh, in the past Iowa State, Wisconsin. Uh, we've got research going on the property currently with Penn State, uh, which is a, proper, a, a program that came from Yale originally. Uh, University of New Orleans uh, we had a program out of Saskatchewan. 
University of Georgia, University of Florida, uh, Lurley and B. Wallace Community College in Andalusia. The biodiversity of the Dixon Center is staggering. Alabama is known for being one of the most biologically diverse states in the nation. And the area surrounding the Dixon Center has most of the plants and wildlife species found in Alabama. This unique combination of great biodiversity, modern classrooms, and comfortable living facilities makes the Solon Dixon Center one of the nation's finest field education centers. And the original intent of the property was uh, from Mr. Dixon was for a place to people to learn about applied natural resources education. You know, learn by doing. Do your indoor talks, your indoor PowerPoints, your, your indoor classroom, and then go out and whether it's wildlife or it's forestry or it's whatever the field is, then do the applied learning. You know, put your hands on it. That's really the purpose of the center is the experiential learning the applied applications. And that's probably the, the thing we try to touch as much as anything is getting people, whether they're fourth graders or, or college kids or just somebody off the street that owns property, right. giving so them examples of, in the field, examples of, of what can be done and what people are doing. The Dixon Center is a living classroom that could be at your disposal with a text message, email, or phone call. You can contact the center directly or through Auburn University's School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences. The Solon Dixon Forestry Education Center. Surround yourself with nature.